All right. Um, so basically, ladies and gentlemen, what I, what I like to do is kind of go back and at least just make sure we're all on the same page as far as understanding the square root. All right. Now, at the beginning of class, our, our um, at the beginning of class, our warm-up actually helped us out, help us remember some things so we can uh, actually get into square roots. Remember, we talked about x squared represents x times x, right? OK? Now, before we get into that, um, what I'd like to do is kind of go back to you and remember inverse operations. Now, we're actually going to start teaching inverse operations, but I'm hoping that you guys remember um, when we are using inverse operations, we always want to undo what's happening to the variable. So if I have the equation x plus 5 equals 10, and I want to undo adding, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to subtract, right? Undo addition is subtraction. They're what we call inverse operations. If I had x minus 5 equals 10, I would have to add 5, right? Because adding would be the inverse operation of subtracting. If I had 5 times x equals 10, the inverse operation of multiplication would be divide. And the inverse operation of dividing is multiplying, right? So this kind of brings me to my question. Well, then if we have x squared equals 25, we know x squared is a number times itself. What is the inverse operation of x squared? What is the inverse operation of x squared? It's what we call the square root. Now, it's important for you guys to understand, because we are going to get into different types of roots. When I just have my radical symbol as is, you can think of that as like a 2, but we don't commonly write the 2 in there because we want you to assume that just as the radical is written, it represents the square root. But if I write another number there, it could represent the cube root, the fourth root, the fifth root, the sixth root, whatever you want to. Um, now remember, x squared means x times x. So the square root is going to mean what number do I have to multiply by itself that gives me x squared? Well, we know from this example that number is x. Right? The square root of x squared. What number multiplied by itself gives us x squared? That's x. What number multiplied by itself gives us 25? 5, right? And it's actually plus or minus since I introduced the square root, but we'll get into that stuff later. So when we're looking at a number, basically when we're looking at the square root, we want to say what number multiplies by itself to give us 64. And in this case, you could say 8. All right. So in this case, the square root of 64 is 8, because 8 squared equals 64. Do you guys understand the relationships of square root and square root? Yes. 